Hey everybody, I am David and today I'm going to be talking about Arrow Season 5, Episode 19, Dangerous Liaisons. And I am going to start off by saying that this was a good episode. This was a really good episode. Um, Arrow, obviously, if you've been following my Arrow videos... Um, I think this is a return to form. And so now we are here at the last four episodes. What's going to go down? First, we have to deal with Felicity and her uh, new organization that she's joined up with. Uh, he Helix, I think it was called. I don't remember right now. Um, but yeah, she had to deal with them. And it looks like she betrays team arrow she decides to you know what i'm gonna go with these guys and because i think what they're doing is the right thing to catch adrian chase uh even if they go beyond what should be done and oliver he ain't too happy about that he he doesn't like that felicity is going to the dark side and i just find it odd that <laughs> felicity had to dress all in black and had black eyeliner on and all that while she was telling oliver fine Oliver I am going uh, and then she heads out the door and does her like come on I, I was worried that Felicity was going to try to kick someone's ass in this episode and if she succeeded I would have been pissed off because we all know Felicity has no skills whatsoever I mean even Mr. Terrific you know Curtis um is a little bit of a stretch sometimes but okay he trained a little bit at least earlier on in the season so I'll let that go. Um, but I thought I, I thought it was well handled and everything went went kind of back to normal at the end there. I'll I'll get to there a little bit later. They kind of forgave Oliver kind of forgave Felicity, so that was nice. I thought they were gonna drag it into the next episode and have more Felicity hanging out with her new best friends. Uh, but thankfully they did not, so I am happy that was resolved before next week, um, which will also be interesting. I'll get to there a little bit later. Um, we also got a little bit of a little bit more of uh, the relationship between Quentin Lance and um, uh, Wild Dog, whose name is escaping me right now. Um, I actually like their little friendship that they have going on right now. It's like a Quentin Lance is like the father that maybe Wild Dog never had. And I, I, I kind of like that, that they're both very supportive to each other. And where we got to see Wild Dog be very supportive to Quentin a couple of episodes ago, um, now Quentin returns the favor by bringing wild dog's daughter to him and convincing him to see the lawyer so he could get his daughter back i thought that was really nice um so yeah i i'm really liking that friendship and i hope to see it continue on to next season um what else do what else happened guys in this episode obviously they didn't find adrian chase um but lila has been cooking up some bad things in this episode, right? Well, not really bad, but secrets, people. Secrets. I mean, secrets cause problems. We get it. <laughs> All these shows, ever since Smallville, I've been dealing with people who have to keep secrets from their loved ones, and then drama explodes. Ah, <sighs> CW, I love you. Um, but yeah, seriously, I like Lila as a character. Um, but I do find it interesting that she, you know, as Diggle kind of pointed out at the end there, Lila's kind of becoming a little bit like Amanda Waller. So, um, I'm, I'm sure their relationship will be fine though in a couple of weeks before the finale. I mean, we have three more episodes left, so I, I think Le Lila will play heavily into the next three episodes. Um... Or maybe it will be resolved next season. Who knows? Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything else to talk about, guys. I, I mean, it was a good episode. I really liked it. I think I talked about the the highlights. Um, 
other than Felicity, there was one thing I didn't like. I'm going to bring it up now. Felicity kind of, you know, rubbed it in Oliver's face. So, you know, I, I've always been supportive to you uh, through the dark, you know, through every decision you make, even when I didn't agree. And now you don't agree with me. It's like, why does this always have to be about you? I love the Felicity character. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, but that line kind of irked to me a little bit um, because I thought it sounded hypocritical because she, there were times she was mad at Oliver where she even, remember, uh, left him uh, when they were supposed to get engaged. She left him. Remember she, the episode where she was in the wheelchair and then she magically, she started walking again and instead of saying, okay, I'm sorry, it should have been a happy moment, uh, hugging and crying, instead she walks out the door awkwardly. I think that was last season in season four. It's like, really? You like didn't even talk to him when your legs came back and you're giving him shit over something little like this? He's right. And then he forgives her at the end. Ugh. Felicity. Sometimes I like you, but it's hard to defend you, you know? Um, other, th other than that, guys, I think this was a really good episode. Um, not I, I was hoping for a little bit more uh, coming back. I was actually hoping we would see Adrian Chase and get a little bit more of Oliver going after him hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. And I kind of miss the arrow suit, man. I hope uh, this doesn't last too long where we see Oliver in this black suit. I mean, I get it that the arrow is like under investigation or shoot at sight or something like that. I hope they get that cleared before the finale because I want Oliver in his suit, man. That green arrow suit. Anyways, tell me what you guys thought of tonight's episode of Arrow. Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? What did you think of Felicity? Is she redeemable in this season? I personally think she's back to form. But there's once in a while an episode like this comes up and says, Felicity, don't go there. But what can you do, right? That's the writer's fault. Um, other than that, it was a good episode. So like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are a huge Arrow fan or a fan of The Flash. Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, or Gotham because Thursdays I do my DC TV recap where I look back at all the DC TV shows this week and we have four of them to talk about including the one that I just did. Um, and other than that, I think I'm done. Until next time, take care.